In the daytime, I'm Marinette. Just a normal girl with a normal life. But there's something about me that no one knows yet. Because I've got a secret. Miraculous! Okay, Nino? We came as soon as we got your message. Adrian is giving me my first Tamarin lesson. Uh, I mean, Mandarin lesson. The situation is serious, my friends. We're gonna need your help, Adrian. Uh, all right, what can I do? First, I gotta tell you why we're here. As you know, the Seine is a river. Its current acts like a conveyor belt, carrying anything that falls in it out to the ocean, including plastic waste. I can't believe that there is so much plastic in the Seine. Plastic is everywhere, even in our clothes. If no one tackles the plastic problem, who will? Exactly, which is why we've decided to take matters into our own hands. We've converted the houseboat into an ecological water treatment plant, thus allowing us to intercept the numerous plastic items that fall into the scent and pollute it. The problem with plastic is that it does not decompose. All the plastic that's been made and we have used has ended up in the environment. And is still there in one form or another. Terrible. Oh! This morning, the situation suddenly got worse. If this keeps up, my houseboat will sink. We've detected a large increase of plastic waste in the sand, all from the same item. Same item? What do you mean? Paris City Hall decided to install vending machines everywhere in order to sell these. It's so hot out. Look at these adorable hand fans. And since they're so affordable, we can switch them up as much as we want. That way, every day will feel unique. The Morpho fan, designed by Gabriel, is the must-have accessory to fight the heat. Available everywhere. A Bertrand King creation. I'm sorry, I didn't even know about this. We know it's a 3D avatar of you. It's not your fault, Adrian. <gasps> the engine won't hold out. There's too much plastic to get rid of. We have to abandon ship, sailors. This is why we need you, buddy. These fans are a major eco-disaster. You have to talk to your old man. You know how my father is. He won't listen to me. What if we tried to solve this another way? By going straight to the root of the problem. 10 boxes of plastic macaron trays, 20 boxes of plastic cake decorations, 100 boxes of plastic pastry labels, and last but not least, 10,000 plastic bags. Oh! Okay, Dad, we're on it. Are you kids sure that you don't mind? Of course not. Daughters help parents and friends help friends. So friends help friends help friends' parents, right parents? I mean friends. And the 10,000 plastic candy bags for the Dupan Chang <gasps> Bakery. It's all here. Thank you, sir. Oh, excuse me, sir. Would it be possible for us to meet your boss? Mr. Bertrand King, the king of plastics? <laughs> no, he never comes here. Bosses are up there, at the top of the social ladder. And where can we find the top of the social ladder? Plastic is fantastic! Let's recap. While the delivery team distracts the guards, the cleaning team will go in through the service entrance. We've been discovered! Impossible! With these disguises, we're completely undetectable. You! Uh, me? You! <laughs> it's not me. You must be mistaken. You! It's you on the fans, isn't it? Uh... Yes, it is him! Adrian Agrest in the flesh! Amazing, right? And it turns out we're escorting him, all of us, to his meeting with Mr. Bertrand King. Right, that's it. I'm, uh... Here to discuss new advertising campaign for the Morpho fans. Right. We're his personal team of delivery and cleaning people. <laughs> Very well, but first... <laughs> Can I get an autograph? I'm listening. 
We know how useful the invention of plastic has been. It was made because it's strong, but also light, and it doesn't cost a lot of money to make. That's why companies like you started to make lots of items we use every day made of plastic. Mm -hmm. It brought about great medical advances. It keeps our food fresher for longer, and it makes it easy for us to carry things around. The real problem is that too much plastic is being made, and that most items are only used once before being thrown away. Products such as plastic bags, wrappers... And your Morpho fans. What we've come to ask you is to help us put an end to plastic pollution. You could start making your fans from materials that do break down. Yes, that are biodegradable! The world won't change without us and you, Mr. Plastic. Uh, Bertrand, uh, King... I mean, Mr. King of Plastic! We're done. That was the clearest presentation I've ever been given. And of course you're right. People buy cheap plastic mm -hmm. items, throw them away, and buy those same plastic items over and over again. Yes, yeah. yes, exactly! <laughs> awesome! But that's the point! Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong, this is all intentional. It's the wonderful cycle of throwing away and buying again that makes my fortune. If people didn't throw away and buy new items again, then I, Bertrand King, would no longer be the king of plastic. So, there is no way any of this is changing. Just look, what do you think your pens are made of? That's right, plastic. Mm. What about your alliance rings? Could it be that they're also made of... Plastic! Winner! Yeah, I won! Awesome! But what price did I win? Plastic! Oh. What about your robot? What's he made of? I know, I know! He's made I of... am an intelligent, sensitive being, and I am made of natural, biodegradable resin, not plastic! All right, fine. Well, nobody's perfect. But my plastic is perfect. It's here forever. And the more plastic invades the world day after day, the more I, Bertrand King, King of Plastic, become rich. If I could, I'd be plastic myself. Plastic is fantastic. The King of Plastic has caused our enthusiasm to drop 99.8%. There's no way we're standing by and doing nothing. But Parisians love the Morpho fans, my young friend. Removing the vending machines installed by City Hall across Paris. Would make it possible to reduce pollution. But it would be very damaging to my image. Hmm? Plastic can even be found in your clothes and in these hand fans you designed. If you could help us convince Bertrand King... You know, Adrian, great designers have to make certain compromises. These fans are only a trend, a way to keep the Gabriel brand thriving. They will disappear as soon as the heat wave is over. Ugh, the damages they caused to the environment will remain for several centuries. It's been very nice to talk to you, Adrian. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have work to do. My father hasn't listened to me at all. Uh, uh. Hold on. We might have one more chance. I just can't report Bertrand King's practices in my news broadcast. But why not? Because the King of Plastic is also the king of our TV channel. It's the money from his advertisements that allows us to exist. But if you don't talk about it, people will never know why the products he sells cause pollution. Please, Nadia, do it for Manon, for the world she'll grow up in. If I did this, the world she'd grow up in would be a world where her mom no longer had a job. I'm sorry, Marinette. Are you and Mommy mad at each other? Not at all, Manon. <laughs> Don't be the muse, it's just the news. The Morpho fan designed by Gabriel is the must-have accessory to fight the heat. Available it's about everywhere. to start. A Bertrand King seconds. creation. Ready, everyone? Don't be the muse, it's just the news. Our first story today is a report by Clara Contard on the incredible heat wave that has settled in Paris for a week now. We're good. Giving this month of June an air of... Sorry to interrupt your TV news. I'm Marinette, and for the past few days, my friends and I have tried to raise awareness of a serious problem to people who have the power to act. But none of them have taken us seriously. Marinette? There is indeed a critical issue affecting our entire planet right now. We're talking about plastic pollution. And if nothing is done, there will soon be more plastic than fish in our oceans. Therefore, it is urgent for us to change our habit. All across the world, we must now act responsibly. We can all make good choices about the items we use every day. These fans distributed in every city across the world are manufactured with cheap plastics not meant to last. 
<laughs> Instead of being short-lived, they could be sustainable and biodegradable. These fans could be made out of bamboo, like this one. It's so beautiful that you want to keep it forever. Let's demand change from the people who have the power to implement environmentally sustainable solutions, where the world of tomorrow is built by the choices we all make today. This initiative by young people from all around the world, which you discovered as an exclusive live in yesterday's broadcast, has elicited many reactions. Naturally, I was not aware of this, but as soon as I was informed, I had every Morpho fan machine removed from Paris. My city is at the forefront of the fight for pollution. Uh, I mean, uh, against pollution. I can assure you that I had no idea that my talent would be misappropriated by a polluting company. In the coming days, we will be tracking the progress of this anti-plastic revolution. <laughs> Your idea was brilliant, Marinette, as always. I mean, Gabriel, why would you lie like this on TV? You do realize I'll be ruined. Come on now, you'll simply be less rich. You'll just get used to it. I'll tell everyone you knew that these fans were polluting. Go ahead, no one will believe you. I... Oh. <laughs> I can't miss out on such a great opportunity. These feelings of betrayal are such powerful inspiration for my Mega Kuma. No. Dark Wings Rise. I am Monarch. How would you like the power to take revenge on those who turn their backs on you? And prove to the world that plastic is fantastic! Absolutely. Paul, your power is now mine. Transfer. To help you in battle, I am also giving you the power of action, with which you can paralyze anyone who tries to escape from you. <laughs> well then, Andre, you no longer believe in the goodness of plastic and money, do you? Bertrand? From now on, you may call me King of Plastic, and let me remind you how plastic is fantastic! No! Help! Security! <laughs> Please, if you want, I can immediately reinstall your plastic fan machine. That won't be necessary. This city doesn't need a useless mayor. What it needs is a king of plastic. <laughs> plastic is fantastic! In the name of the law, stop! <laughs> you freeze! Fantastic! Y'all were the mayor's playthings, and now y'all really look the part. Plastic playthings, of course! <laughs> Plastic really is fantastic! Hey, now it's your turn, Gabriel Agrest! I'm afraid Gabriel Agrest is unavailable at the moment. Ni hao ni shi. Ni hao ni shi. That's still not it, is it? That was almost it. Your hello was perfect, but remember, the last syllable of miss has a falling tone. Ni shi. Ni shi. <laughs> Was that so bad I triggered lightning? I promised my father that I'd go home at any sign of trouble. Will you be okay? Yeah, don't worry. I've got to review my Mandarin. <laughs> okay, see you later then. There's no time to waste. The sooner Cat Noir saves Paris, the sooner Adrian can get back to Marinette. And the sooner I can eat Camembert. What? What's that? Monarch is 
polluting us with yet another one of his super villains. Tiki Spots on! Yeah! <laughs> Meow, m'lady. Perfect timing, Kitty Cat. Check this out. There's a new villain in town. And he's headed towards the house of the famous designer, Gabriel Grest. And his son, Adrian. You were saying? That there's not a moment to lose! <laughs> Nothing will stop the reign of plastic! <laughs> Didn't you see the news? Plastic's going out of fashion! This is all Gabriel Agress' fault! He's gonna pay for that! <laughs> Ladybug, is everything okay? Once Ladybug and Cat Noir have been turned into plastic statues, their miraculous will finally be mine! Deliver to my door! Hey! He plasticized my staff! Oh. You're the tycoon who makes all these polluting fans! The king of plastic, aren't you? The king of pollution, you mean? Misinformation! Plastic is fantastic! Fantastic would be you ending your reign and all the pollution you're causing! And renounce my throne? Never! Didn't you want to take revenge on Gabriel Grest? He probably has more than one enemy. Don't forget about our deal. Yeah, yeah, even though they're not plastic, I'll take care of their magic too. But also, I must take my revenge. You can't humiliate a king like me and go unpunished. A party without plastic cups or plastic balloons? Hey, without the king of plastic is not a real party! <laughs> Don't leave! Thanks to me, you'll be eternal and everlasting! You'll see, plastic is fantastic! <laughs> Just goes to prove that plastic is all mine! <laughs> At least it can't be turned into plastic! Because it's already plastic! Good thinking, Cat Noir! You're welcome, m'lady! We need more plastic! Lots and lots of plastic! Finally, some wise work! Are you serious, m'lady? I couldn't be any more serious, Kitty. I need as much plastic as can be found in the water. Huh? We've got to get the houseboat's treatment Ooh. system running again. But it'll cause the same problem as it did last time. The engine won't hold out, Alia. Only this time, Ladybug will fix everything.
Goodbye, little butterfly. What am I doing here? This is disgusting. Aren't you gonna help me? This is exactly what millions of sea animals are going through around the world. And they don't always have superheroes to offer a helping hand and save them. Okay. Maybe plastic isn't always so fantastic. In the future, make the products you manufacture reusable or recyclable and made from things that decompose. You're right. I think I hadn't realized until now what plastic pollution really is. Mr. Bertrand, here's a magical charm to help you remember your good resolution. Found it! Yeah! Miraculous Ladybug! <laughs> oh! tycoon Bertrand King, known for being the king of plastic, has financed the repair of a houseboat, which has cleaned the sand of all the plastic waste that was polluting it. I am turning over with disposable plastic. I don't want to be responsible for the problem anymore. I want to be part of the solution. Now that our daughter has made us aware of the issue, we use wooden stirrers, wheat straw cups, and cloth bags. Everything is eco-friendly, reusable, and recyclable. The school kids at the root of this tremendous awareness-raising campaign have succeeded in creating a worldwide movement. This is absolutely miraculous.